They were the first radios to appear in cars almost a century ago, but within a year, they may be the first to go. Ford and a handful of other car manufacturers have announced plans to stop putting AM radios in new cars. And that has some Michigan lawmakers and radio stations demanding answers and a solution. The thing that hasn't changed in 80 plus years is it's all about the community. It seems like you've always been able to find WTCM AM at 580 on your radio dial. But finding them could be getting a lot harder or maybe impossible if that dials in a new Ford car. I think it's short-sighted of, uh, of the manufacturers to, 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 to try to, you know, uh, pull out uh, a component of the audio system that has been important for you know, 100 years. Ford has joined several other car manufacturers in announcing starting next year, they're phasing out AM radios in their new cars. They say it's part of the transition to EV vehicles and the motors in those cars interfere with the AM signal. We know that it's not consumer driven. Um, consumers really uh, are not aware of the phasing out that uh, some of these manufacturers are looking to do. As the general manager of the biggest AM station around, Chris has an obvious reason for wanting the car radios to stay the way they are, but he's not alone. I really look at it as just uh, lack of vision, lack of uh, a, a thought towards national security, um, our ability to communicate on a, on a most basic level uh, in the future for the unknown things that we have to face. And I just, I find it reckless. State Representative Dave Preston serves the Upper Peninsula. I know there's several stations up in, in my neck of the woods that, that have an AM footprint only. And places where those stations are the only ones you can get. So he recently added his signature to this letter, sent to Ford's board of directors with a simple request. I hope they reconsider. Leave our AM on the, you know, alone. It, it, there's there's a, a large segment of the, the population that relies on AM radio and will continue to. It's not the only letter floating around. Former administrators of the Federal Emergency Management Agency recently sent this letter to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, urging his department to find a fix and keep AM radios in new cars. It's one of the first frequencies. I think it's going to be one of the go-to go -to frequencies if there's ever a national emergency. It's also the go-to every day for entertainment for a lot of drivers. Old radios will still work just fine, yeah, but looking to the future has by some by hoping storage, for a solution. You know, this is just another way that uh, car manufacturers are, are disconnected from their, their users. Um, and so we hope that this legislative effort and maybe even some good old uh, polling of uh, consumers uh, can, can reverse the trend. Again, Ford is the latest to make this announcement, but insiders say as we see more and more companies transition to EVs, we should expect similar announcements to the one that Ford passed along.